the door before somebody gets hurt? Shut up, mother. I know all about your lies. Katie has shown me the text messages and the pills you have been giving me to make me sick. Open the door now, you ungrateful little twerp. Good morning, honey. Brought you some soup. Mm. Thanks, Mom. But I'm actually not feeling well today. I'm feeling worse. Honey, you have to have patience. Things mm. take time here. Have some soup. But it's been three months, Mom, and I'm feeling worse every day. I understand, baby, but let's not forget the most important part. And that's that we still have each other. And I will always take care of you. Here, have something to drink. How come the water always tastes funny, Mom? It's just a side effect of your condition. Remember the doctor told us that things are going to start tasting differently? Love you, honey. And there is nothing I wouldn't do for you to be better. I'm so lucky I have the best mom in the world. Hey guys, thank you so much for your support. We reached our goal of $50,000. But unfortunately, Katie is feeling worse and we're gonna have to have more medication and more hospital visits. So we're raising our goal to $100,000. And post. a few more dollars and I'll finally be able to afford that nose surgery and that lipo that I've been wanting for so long. <laughs> oh, keeping my daughter sick has been the best idea I've had my whole life. <laughs> Hello Mrs. Johnson, how are you doing? I just saw your post on how Julia is getting worse and wanted to come and check on her and give her some support. Oh, Katie, that's so considerate of you. But Julia's tired right now and she needs her rest. But it will only take a moment. You haven't let me see her in months and since she is not on any social media anymore, she is probably wondering where her friends are. Well, like I said, she needs her rest right now. But don't worry, I will let her know that you stopped by. Well. Can you at least give her this? Me and all her friends chipped in and got her the necklace she always wanted. Oh, I will make sure that she gets it. Thank you, Katie. You're such a great friend. Is that the new Gucci ring? Yeah. It was on sale and I could not pass up the deal. But that ring is usually $10,000 and even if it was on sale, how can you be spending money like that and asking for help for Julia's medical bills. Yeah, well it helps when I have to take care of that brat all day. I mean, like, shopping really like calms me down and then I can take better care of Julia. I want to see Julia right now. Uh, no, you can't. She is resting. Don't you care about Julia and about her getting better? I will let you see her when she is better. Goodbye. My daughter doesn't need friends. Let us ruin what we have going on. Who is that, Mom? Some guy trying to sell us goat milk. Oh. I thought it might have been one of my friends. I don't understand why they haven't come to see me. Especially now when I need them the most. Mom, can I use my phone to call them? Honey, I can't. The doctor told me not to let you use any type of technology. And that includes computers and phones. But 
but I only need two minutes to check my messages. Honey, I told you, I check your phone every day and there are no messages <sighs> or missed calls from any of your friends, especially that girl, Katie. <sighs> I, I thought Katie and I were like sisters. We were always there for each other. Well, if she was really your friend, <sighs> she would come knock on that door and come visit you. Or at least send you some gifts. Sometimes the people we love the most are the ones that care for us the least. <sighs> and from what it looks like, you didn't really have any friends. <laughs> oh, don't worry, baby. <laughs> I love you so much, Mom. I don't know what I would do without you. <laughs> Neither do I, baby. I don't know what I would do without you. Now I'm gonna go to the store and get more of your medication, okay? But I'll only be like 20 minutes. Okay, can you get me some of those Oreo cookies I really like? The ones with the double frosting? Honey, I already told you that we can't be spending carelessly like that. We need to save as much as we can for your medical treatments. But they're only four dollars, Mom. And plus, I found a two dollars off coupon in the magazine. Honey, I wish I could get them for you. I really do. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to put my foot down on this one. We need to save as much as we can. And that means not spending on things that we don't need to survive. You're right, Mom. I'm sorry I'm such a spoiled brat. I should be grateful we get to eat tortilla soup every night and not go hungry. Hey, maybe I can get some of those sugar packets for free from the Starbucks around the corner. And you could just sprinkle them on a tortilla and it'll taste just like a cookie. Okay, that, that works, Mom. Thanks. Uh, don't worry about it, baby. <sighs> you so much if you miss me so much why didn't you try to come visit or call I did I came every week and message and called you every day but your mother said you needed to rest and I could not see you what my mother said no one tried to reach out that is a lie we have all been really worried about you also take a look at this what's this Poison. Your mother has been keeping you sick on purpose. Why would she do that? My mother loves me. To keep making money off your sickness. Look at the GoFundMe she made for you. It's almost at $100,000. What? My mom said we have no money and the treatment I need to get better only costs $5,000. What are we gonna do? Let's call the cops. Hello, 911. Yes, we need you to send an officer as soon as possible. There is this crazy cheap lady trying to kill her daughter. She is inside the house. Hurry, she's coming towards us. Julia, honey. What's going on? Who else is in there? You are in big trouble. I am calling the police. Go ahead, do it. And when they get here, we'll be sure to tell them all about how you've been keeping Julia sick just so you can make money out of her by scamming people out of their donations. Katie? I don't know what you're talking about or who you heard this from, but these are all lies. So will you open the door before somebody gets hurt? Shut up, mother. I know all about your lies. 
Katie has shown me the text messages and the pills you have been giving me to make me sick. Open the door now, you ungrateful little twerp. No. I take care of you for months and this is how you repay me? Also, we called the police and you are going straight to jail. You did what? I'm gonna kill you! Open the door now! <laughs> you know what I did while you were sleeping? I ate all the Oreos. <laughs> oh, the best thing that ever happened was you getting sick. We got a call that someone is in trouble. In trouble? Here? Oh, no. That's not the wrong address. Or maybe a prank from a silly neighbor. Ma'am, can we check the apartment? Officer, I wish that I could, but... Uh... Help! We are in here! She is trying to kill us! The two officers searched the apartment for clues that would lead to Mrs. Johnson's arrest. They found traces of poison in some of the food and water in the kitchen and even found the gift bag that Katie had given her. After a thorough investigation, they were able to find the poison bottle that would guarantee she'd go to prison for the attempted murder of her daughter. Ms. Johnson, you're under arrest for the attempted murder of your daughter. You're gonna be gone for a long time. Oh, this is insane. This little brat is gonna die without me. Who's gonna take care of you now? Say something. It is really important to always check in on your friends and those you love and to never give up on them because they might be in a situation where they can't ask for help. A quick visit or call or even a text message can go a long way to making someone's day better or saving someone's life. Thank you for watching this video brought to you by Generation Hope. Make sure to share this video with all your friends and family and click on that like and subscribe button so you can help this video be seen by more people. Because here at Generation Hope, we are trying to make the world a better place, one story at a time.